The game plan for December 31st. Come up with resolutions for the new year. Check. Finish chapter one of my debut novel. Check. Put on a happy face and pretend I'm excited to go to the Dallas Demons New Year's Eve party tonight. Get dressed and try to project confidence in an evening gown while pretending I don't care I'm surrounded by the players' wives and girlfriends, who are practically supermodels. Refrain from staring at Matt Rhinelander from across the room, like a lovesick tween from a Disney Channel show. I furrow my brow as I stare at the list written in my Things to Do Today planner. I absently tap a gold pen against my lips knowing I can't place the final checks next to the last three items on my list. I toss the planner aside and anxiously twist my long brown hair into a knot, securing it at the nape of my neck by shoving the pen in it. Ugh, it's already six o'clock, and I'm still sitting on my bed with my computer on my lap. I haven't even showered yet. And I have to say... My Harry Potter Ravenclaw t-shirt and yoga pants are way more comfortable than the cocktail dress hanging on the back of my door. I would be much happier writing for Kala, the fairy heroine in my manuscript, than standing awkwardly in the corner of a party, trying to act like I belong. I'd rather stay here in my brother's guest bedroom in Dallas than go to a New Year's Eve shindig in Ritzy Highland Park. Besides, if I weren't Holly Johansson, Little sister of Demon's superstar Nate Johansson, I wouldn't even be invited tonight. Not that I want to be. I'm not into parties or getting drunk. Since graduating from Northwestern this past month, I'm focused solely on my postgraduate life, which means finding gainful employment. Yes, I am working and working hard at writing my debut fantasy novel, but since that won't even cover a ketchup packet at a fast food restaurant, I need to get a day job. And since Dallas rent is more than I can afford, I'll move back home with my parents in Minnesota after the holidays. I sigh. So far, my website, which I designed to offer editing and proofreading services, has garnered fewer clicks than I care to think about. I've already inquired at the local library in my hometown, and they don't need anyone. I've applied for entry-level jobs in all areas of communication, in Dallas, Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Chicago. I've had some interviews, but no offers. The truth is, all I want to do is write novels. I know becoming an author is a marathon, not a sprint. Even if it's my dream, I need a day job to earn money now and stick to squirreling away whatever free time I have for writing. I glance down at what I've written. Callan knew she shouldn't venture across to the North Woods. That land was beyond Flagstone Forest. Fairies were feared there. Normally, Calla would never dream of stepping over the line, but the towering redwood trees and waterfalls were so beautiful 